Hello YouTube, this is Ken Faulkner coming in to you with a new video and something different. This is my first time actually getting a, a package in the mail and I know that uh, this is a popular thing to do. I'm going to do a, a, an unpackaging of this knife that I, I picked up from uh, Blade HQ. Uh, the unpackaging knife is going to be the Mini Paragon from Kaiser. It's uh, not exactly mini as far as I'm concerned, but I was talking with uh, Billy over at uh, at Apex Alchemy, and he said that the, the maker of this knife, the designer of this knife, uh, actually made a, a Paragon design that was larger than this one. And I haven't had, uh, been able to find it anywhere online, but uh, I'd be interested to see what that thing looks like, because this one's a pretty nice size. So anyway, let's cut this thing open because I I'm really anxious to get this knife in my hand. All right, and of course we have the packing packing peanuts as usual, and inside is a very uh. It's a box that you you all probably have seen before. Pretty obvious what this is, Spyderco. Um, the story behind this knife is um, about a year ago I was looking at some videos and uh, thinking about you know what Spyderco I might want to buy. And uh, there was a bunch of different uh, YouTubers out there that were saying that Manix 2 was a really good knife. So. Uh, this is back um, in uh, last year around uh, Blade Show West. I was thinking about it. I actually looked at one while I was there. And I said to myself, the next Spyderco I buy is going to be the Manix 2. Uh, now, I kept uh, putting it off and buying other knives. Something else came up and I decided to buy. And... Uh, Finally, I just said, hey, I just got to do it. I just got to get this knife. So here's the box. We'll open it up. There is the knife as I was expecting. And Manix 2. It's a very common knife. I just, I just didn't have one in my collection. I have a PM2, which is very well known and I got some other Spydecos that I really like, but one of the things that drew me to this one is the an unusual locking system. Uh, I like to try out all these different knives with the uh, different locks, like the Triad lock, like the the Shark lock on the uh, AD twenty point five, um, and this one here. Although it kind of, and some people have talked about it like it's a uh, uh, an access lock lock like. Uh, you see on so many knives, but this one's a little different on the inside. It's got a, a ball bearing that gets pushed up against a locking portion of the of the blade when it opens up, and you pull this back, much like an access lock, and it drops. So um, I don't don't really have much experience with this one yet, but uh, I wanted to show it to you, share the unboxing, and. Uh, we got, uh, this one is a, a USA made knife. So we're talking Golden Colorado USA Earth, which is awesome. And then uh, it's a uh, uh, CMP S30V. And it's got that very well-known typical kind of blade shape from Spyderco that uh, I definitely love. That, that nice tall flat grind, nice thin blade stock really slicey it's got some great jimping here on the uh on the back got some jimping here on the handle down by your fingers nice shape to to really fit into your hand and that that uh, finger choil and that thumb ramp combination which is just really awesome really just locks that knife in your hand you can do whatever you need to do it's not going anywhere g10 scales and uh Nice, interesting uh, locking mechanism. I'm going to have some fun with it this uh, today, playing around with it. Anyway, 
thanks for watching the video. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys later. Everybody have a nice day. Bye.